chosen by the public, and they're all gonna pitch here today. So also, uh, about how the winner is gonna be chosen. So basically, our judges have a criteria sheet and they're gonna judge the startups based on five main important things that are quite universal. So basically, it's an idea. So it is market, it is business model, it is traction, and I think also a very important thing is team. So now we have judges here in front of us and maybe I would like each one of you to just do like a 15, 20 second pitch of who you are, your name, your title, and from which company you come from. Simeon Dukac, I at One Way Ventures, VC fund based in Boston. Can you please pass the microphone? It's like sharing. Andrew, Andrew Pavlev, I'm a supervisory board chairman of the OT cluster. I'm Evan Madden Peister. Uh, I'm a member of uh, Startup Ventures, and we bring uh, European and um, startups to New York City for acceleration. Don't be afraid to sp speak loud into the microphone. I'm John Sung Kim. I'm a serial B2B SaaS entrepreneur and hobby Y Combinator investor. My name is Rune Field, one of the co-founders and the CEO of Rockstart, early stage accelerator invested in 124 startups. Best of luck to the startups today. Uh, I'm Boris. I'm a head of digital and startup program for Credit Agricole Ukraine. My name is Marty Kazabowski. I'm representing CRDF Global, which has been helping grow the, uh, e the uh, ecosystem here in Lviv for many times. This is my fifth time in Lviv. It's amazing nice. to see the progress you folks have made. I'm Sergey Nozdrachev. I'm an entrepreneur and angel investor, and I represent here Kiev Mahila Business School. Hi, my name is Kirill Mazur. I'm head of ecosystem and partnerships at Unit City Innovation Park in Kyiv, and I'm partner of venture capital fund uh, Imperials Group. I'm Matt Waller, the chief behavioral officer at Clover Health. Used to be a director at Microsoft Ventures and previously exited two startups. Hey, I'm Daria Demchenko. I'm business development manager at CardPay, and we are helping startups to uh, facilitate all their banking needs uh, whenever they build their business across Europe and around the world. So happy to be here. Nick Bilogorsky, first time in Lviv. Used to be the chief security um, researcher at Facebook. Been fortunate enough to be through two IPOs, three acquisitions, and now invest through 408 Ventures. I'm Vlad Tislenko, I'm CEO at Conceptor, and I'm running Product ID Accelerator, acceleration program for the hardware startups. Hi, my name is Greg Banas, and I'm CEO of Adventures. We're external accelerator for a couple of uh, big industrial players in the uh, EU market, and uh, running a Poland Prize program for startups wanting to scale with big corporations. And I think we're, that's it. So you can see that the startups are gonna be judged by many, many uh, judges. They are all professionals and experts in their fields. So uh, just as a reminder, we have a five minute pitch and we have a three minute Q&A uh, done by judges. So I think we can still split some, some of the judges as one startup, some of the judges as the other one. And I think I just want to have one inquiry for all you guys, please, please support these founders. They are really excited, but a little bit nervous. So clap, stomp your feet, whistle is just like, They've come, they've come so far. So without further ado, I would like to invite the first, first uh, kickoff, and it's gonna be a startup, which is called Xdraft, and they're gonna tell you more how they're gonna conquer the world. The floor is yours. Can you hear me? It's always challenging to be the first one. So my name is Yuri, and I'm the CEO and founder of XDraft. For the last six years, I was a lawyer. And I know that big corporations create 30,000 of documents every year. They do it manually, Microsoft Word, email, old style. Due to sheer volume and the software they use, they make mistakes and waste a lot of time. These mistakes in time cost businesses millions of dollars. I know it firsthand. I've seen it in practice many times. What if we could put these millions of dollars 
back to business. And this is where XDraft comes in. XDraft is an online platform allowing you to create, negotiate, and make sense of your document data in minutes for free. Not for free, but no mistakes for sure. <laughs> so the best thing about this is that users love it. We are growing on all our key metrics since day one. We have more than tripled our revenue in the last year. We are growing 14% months on months in revenue, and we are cash positive at the moment. I'm sorry the clicker doesn't work perfectly. So in terms of users, we have negative churn, and we are growing 30% months on months in number of created documents. Users use it more and more. They rely on XDraft. We sell XDraft B2B to in-house legal departments of large corporations, and we are proud to have such prominent companies as Carlsberg, British American Tobacco, and MHP among our clients. They use XDraft to delegate part of legal work from lawyers to non-lawyers and don't waste time for routine. We sell XDraft on subscription basis, charging $100 per month per seat with a minimum check of $1,000 per company. And we have proved this business model already by selling three packages like that just in this last two months. The market for this kind of product is $10 billion in the US and $7 billion in Europe. And it sounds a lot and probably some of you would think made up, but it's actually well calculated and I can substantiate it. And this is just a fraction of the total $160 billion market of in-house legal services in the United States. As any good product, we have competitors. And our competitors are Contract Express, Hot Docs, but we believe we can beat them by offering cloud-based turnkey solution where we automate the documents for our customers instead of do-it-yourself desktop solutions offered by our competitors. Lawyers don't have time for automation. Moreover, XDraft is a SaaS solution, but at the same time, the document, the final document, which contains your confidential sensitive data, is created only on your computer. It never touches our server or goes through the network. So this gives additional comfort to our customers. Our end game, though, is data. We are collecting user data and doc legal document data, and we will use this data to build machine learning algorithms able to predict and, and assist non-lawyers with drafting of legal documents. Not only drafting, but also negotiations. Eventually, we want to replace lawyers and allow non-lawyers to do the job for them. This great product is built by a team of brothers. We combine both industry and technology expertise, and we are supported by a team of five more people, including designers, software engineers, and lawyers. We are here today because we are growing, and we are looking for support and $750,000 of funding to improve our product and move to the US market, half of which will be used for growth and improvement of sales team, and half of it for machine learning. Few investors have already committed. So if you don't want to miss this great opportunity, let's talk. Thank you so much. Thank you. And now we actually open up the questions for the ju jury. jury. So we have one microphone here, and I have two more. So who wants to start? Here we go. You can take one. Sorry. Hi, man. Thanks a lot. Great presentation. Just a question to the solution itself. Does it mean there's no machine learning uh, in the product so far? Uh, no, we are at data collection stage, but frankly, uh, we already have 1,000 uh, machine-readable labeled uh, legal documents, um, more than 1,000 of different agreement clauses, and more than 1 million of records of user behavior with legal documents. So we have something to work with, uh, and we will start building it in the near future. When you start out with that, what would be the segment that you focus on? Within in-house law, there's as many aspects of, of law as... Yeah, so uh, what we do, and we focus on 
document creation. And we will start with document creation. So basically, the first thing what we're going to do is that the software will suggest to you what would be the best clause to use in the contract based on your previous uh, drafting experiences or even industry-wide drafting uh, practices. So the best clause, for example, for, for Xworks delivery contract is as follows. This is like best practice in the market. Great presentation. Do you really see a future in the United States where legality is so complicated and prevalent that consumers would draft their own legal documents using machine learning prediction and have these documents stand up in court like a will? Yeah, uh, so we are not targeting consumers. This is a very important point. We are targeting companies. And I see a future in the United States where you won't pay millions of dollars for a huge legal the Companies department. have even more to lose than consumers. They're, you see a future where a company that has millions of dollars to lose is going to use machine learning prediction instead of in-house or outside counsel to draft legal documents. For routine basic documents, yes. Because what do you consider a routine basic document? Uh, supply agreements, sales agreements, uh, NDA agreements. So currently, this are still done by legal department and consist, uh, it's like 20% of their work, uh, according to the statistics. And it's pretty routine, pretty standard. So both the drafting and the negotiation, they accept and refuse the same clauses. And this can and should be automated. It doesn't cost $170,000 per annum salary of a lawyer to do this. The sophisticated stuff like advisory, uh, disputes, uh, IP will still be done by lawyers, but uh, there is a huge part we can automate. And I'm pretty sure that uh, it may prove itself and uh, companies will rely on it. Currently, what we see is that uh, our customers, like Carlsberg or British American Tobacco, they start with automating this. Lawyers supervise it for like a month uh, or even two weeks. And then they see that there is no mistakes. It works perfectly. They give it away uh, to non-lawyers. And they don't even review. And there are no claims, so everybody's happy. Okay, and that was X-Draft. Thank you so much. Thanks.